Hermione Baddeley was an English character actress. She gave the shortest ever performance nominated for an Academy Award for just two minutes and 19 seconds. And to try and demonstrate just how brief a time that is, I'm going to keep this video to two minutes and 19 seconds exactly. The Oscar nomination came for a film called Room at the Top. Hermione Baddeley's character allows her friend to carry on an affair in her flat. That is her contribution to the story. When you look at other very short Oscar-nominated performances, they are normally in quite emotionally heightened circumstances. Beatrice Strait has just found out that her husband is cheating on her. Jane Alexander is being investigated for treason. Hermione Baddeley's main scene is her meeting her friend's boyfriend for the first time, and she ends it like this. Don't ever hurt her. Honestly, I actually find this super relatable, which is why I'm not allowed to meet my friend's lovers anymore. The question is, of course, did she deserve this Oscar nomination? And I would argue, yes, because she got it. An Oscar nomination is only indicative of earning an Oscar nomination, but I don't think you can say it's a bad performance. She creates a character whose worldview is obvious and whose motivations are clear. It's also worth noting that this isn't a Meryl Streep situation. This was Hermione Baddeley's only Oscar nomination. There are several theories as to how Hermione got nominated for this. One is that she was a beloved character actress who had been working for years, and in a year with a weak supporting actress field, the Oscars saw a chance to reward someone and also, you know, put a record in place. There is actually a conspiracy theory about how Hermione badly got nominated, which is based on conjecture and unproved rumours, so I can't present it as fact, but it's my favourite. The producer of Room at the Top, Jack Wolf, was sleeping with the leading man, Lawrence Harvey. Allegedly, Hermione Baddeley was acting as Lawrence Harvey's beard. And Jack Wolf rewarded Hermione Baddeley for allowing his boyfriend to work by campaigning hard for her to get an Oscar nomination. The other is that Hermione Baddeley was just that good. So, that's the scoop on Hermione Baddeley. If you want to know more, come and see my one-man show, Men Behaving Baddeley debuting whenever the Edinburgh Fringe is back on.